Welcome back. Many people love the 4th of July, especially because of the food. If you're planning to grill anytime today, we're going to want to make sure to tune into this next conversation I had with Chef David Olson. He has some really great ideas on what you can serve this 4th of July. Let's take a look. Just in time for 4th of July entertaining, let's celebrate National Grilling Month. Here are some great grilling ideas is Chef David Olson. Chef is a live fire grill master, award-winning chef and recipe developer, and the creator behind a widely popular blog. Thank you so much for being here, Chef David Olson. How are you? Well, I'm so glad to be with you in Salt Lake. Thanks for having me this morning, Christine. So why do you love the thrill of the grill? Well, I'll tell you what, and you probably agree with this, but everyone, everyone loves the grill. Everyone loves the backyard barbecue. But listen, wherever I've traveled and I've cooked, I've cooked on every continent with the exception of Antarctica, and it's the same everywhere. No matter folks' differences, their walk of life, a warm fire, phenomenal grilled food, a community table, it's what brings people together, family, friends, neighbors, you name it. It's where we find commonality, right? It's where we build our best and our longest lasting relationships. It's where we have our greatest memories, right? And undoubtedly, that's what I love most about the grill. What is a good start to a backyard barbecue? Well, I think if uh, folks are planning and starting a barbecue this weekend, my mind goes to food pairings. And I think there's nothing better than great grilled food with the right beverage. And folks are celebrating this weekend with America's favorite semi-sweet, semi-sparkling Italian wines, Stella Rosa wines. They can choose from Stella Rosa Blueberry, Stella Rosa Royale. And I'll tell you what, any of these Stella Rosa wines, they're made with real fruit flavors, they're naturally gluten-free, vegan, low cal, and they're now made in these super convenient cans. So whether uh, you're at home, you're in the backyard barbecue or behind the tailgate, there's something here for everyone. And what are some of your top tips for great grilling? Yeah, so my number one tip for folks is get out and build a great relationship with your local meat cutter. And not only to save a lot, have a meat cutter in every single location, right? But it's the go-to number one stop for all your grilling and grocery essentials this summer. So they have several of my favorite cuts, whether it's the ribeye, it's the T-bone, it's the bone-in or boneless pork chops, right? But if you get to the case and they don't have exactly what you're looking for, one of the meat cutters will actually customize and order for you. So it, it's an insurance that everyone leaves with the perfect cut. And what is something that you must have at any backyard grilling party that is probably going to surprise us? <laughs> yeah, well, I have a surprising fact for you. Check this out. So the average American in their lifetime will eat 3,000 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which is astounding. But uh, even more astounding, I probably accomplished that by the, like, the age of eight or nine. Um, <laughs> that being said, peanut butter is a classic all-American flavor. I love bringing it to the barbecue in new and surprising ways. And let me show you a couple examples. So we have these super rad, grilled, sticky PB&J wings. They are so darn good. But whether sweet or savory, Check out this Nutter Butter Banana Pudding. It's an update to the classic banana pudding. It's so delicious. But whether roasted, salted, or seasoned, peanuts are a welcome ingredient at any backyard barbecue of mine. Oh, that sounds delicious. And how can we make sure that all our guests are comfortable, especially when they're outside enjoying great food? No doubt. That's the right question for this time of year. But there's nothing that ruins a backyard barbecue like pesky mosquitoes, right? So the problem is most folks think there's nothing they can do about it. When in fact, SC Johnson in Off just launched a brand new website. It's called Offcast. And Offcast will actually forecast mosquito activity in your local area up to seven days in advance. Folks can jump right on over to the website, click into their local area. It's reliable. It's backed by more than 60 years of research at the SC Johnson Center for Insect Science for Family and Health. And it's the spot to go to pick the right time and location for your next backyard barbecue. And where can we get more information about everything you've talked about today? Find your blog and yes. follow along with everything you're doing. Yes, jump over and join me at Live Fire Republic on social media. We also are just kicking off our brand new adventure culinary YouTube series at Live Fire Republic. For all these tips and recommendations today, head on over to tipsontv.com. I will do. Well, thank you so much, Chef David Olson, for joining us today. So excited to get out and yes. start grilling, and happy 4th of July. Yeah, same to you. Thank you.